Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm here to show you how I am cutting up some scraps that I received, uh, courtesy of Cotton Cuts. They are a die cutting company here in St. Louis, and somebody that has an affiliation with them in our guild had uh, got them to donate a lot of scrap bags, and so my guild decided to give these out with the intent that we are to come back in December with a swap gift. So we do the pass right left game where you are passing your gift. So I thought I would come and show you what a cotton cuts die cut scrap bag looks like as well as show you how what I'm doing with it rather. All right. So let me move my cutting board out and I am going to push you down a little. All right. So Again, this is the bag, and I will say that I probably, I had gotten a bag from Scrap Club, too, from this same person. So, I'd say I probably had about four bags, three to four. I don't think I had five. And then I'm going to show you what I actually, how much fabric I've gotten out of it as well. So, in this bag, um, you can see... The various different fabrics here and it looks like cottage cheese it doesn't look like it will do much <laughs> so I just wanted to let you see that some of them are grouped by colors some of them like by project sometimes they just get put into a bag until they're full I don't know if they sell these or not but I thought I will still come on and show you what I'm doing with these so one of the things that I do do is I try to get all like fabrics together. So if I have a lot of one fabric as I'm cutting, I can keep it all together because um, of things that you can do with it. So I am going to just try to group this by type, just loosely doing that. And then I'm going to start cutting these apart okay so this goes in here with that so we'll start with this <laughs> all right so I have of course already cut a lot of these fabrics apart and so what you're going to see probably is going to be different than what I've previously cut but sort of kind of the same as well so I try to take them, they're folded in half like you would if you were buying yardage. So I try to keep it like that. And if it's possible, I try to go ahead and because um, I've got like two layers here. Now you could use a rotary cutter if you like as well. I'm just using my scissors because I don't have a lot of space right here and I didn't want to stand and do this in my other cutting area. But you are also welcome to like lay this out on a giant mat and just cut these pieces apart. But I find that the scissors work just as well for me. And so this piece here was a piece of the fabric that was cut on the fold so I go ahead and open that up as well uh, because you can get larger fabric cuts out of that. It doesn't necessarily have to end up being a string, which I will show you what I have so far when I'm done. So I just cut all of these little pieces and I put them into stacks. Now when I'm normally cutting strings, I don't... Uh, put them into stacks with like fabrics but since this is a scrap bag of somebody else's got pretty long strings and if I didn't want to necessarily make a scrappy project I could take two different sets or three different sets of strings and make a project out of just two or three fabrics as opposed to a lot of fabrics not that I'm against a lot of fabrics, but sometimes you want continuity in your pieces. So I'm just going to take these 
stack them somewhere else. And so I continue to do this for all of my pieces. Let me see if I can find one that's a little bit different. This one still cut the same. I was trying to find one that it was cut a little different, like not rectangles. But I think all of this bag is rectangles. So I may not be able to show you some of my other cuttings because those are rectangles. Rectangles. <laughs> So no, I don't have anything but rectangles here. I have a couple of pieces from another bag. Yeah, this is one that's not a rectangle. So this was the fold. And so it's not just rectangles that were cut out of this one, as you can see from the extra space left over here. So let me show you what I do with that. So I lay it down, double layer as well, and then I just eyeball cut straight up because I've got like wedges on each side. Eyeball cut again. And then what I end up with is the string strips that I showed you before, but I also end up with half square triangles. Or things that I can die cut into half square triangles because I will just press these out and then use my die cutting system to make half square triangles also if you didn't know I am an AccuQuip affiliate so if you ever buy AccuQuip products pre please use my code you can find it in the description box of any of my videos on YouTube so I would appreciate you doing that. You just enter the site using my link and it will let you take care of all of your coupon sales, use your rewards, everything. So nothing is hindering, hindering your purchase or having you pay more. I just get credit for you entering from my link. So... This one came apart. So this one was a little bit more wrinkled than other ones that I've had. But hey, we all have an iron. We can press this out. And uh, when I press it out and uh, put it on a die cutting machine, it's not going to matter. And I probably will add some stabilizer of some kind, starch, uh, before I die cut these as well. And then this is what I'm actually throwing in the trash. Anything that is like an inch or smaller just depends. <laughs> so, cut that. So, this is a pretty good size half square triangle here. <laughs> so, yeah, I would definitely be keeping those. And this is a smaller piece. I've got a little section over here for pieces of approximately that size. And again, this is another piece that's folded so I can open that up. It looked like it was something to go in the trash, but when I open it up, it's a lot bigger. And it's got a half square triangle that I can save. So I am going to keep cutting these and then I will come back and show you what I have cut from about four bags at most of fabrics from of the cotton cut scrap bags. Okay, see you later. All right, tea quilters, I am back and I have done all of my cutting. I'd say it took me probably an hour or so because I was kind of watching television um, as well as cutting. So I'd say about an hour to cut about four bags of scraps. And then I also 
just did some small piecing just so you could see what you could do with these pieces as well. So let me pick you guys up, turn this camera around, and um, I'm trying to make sure I'm recording. <laughs> turn this camera around and show you what I have cut from these scrap bags. So here you are looking at my design wall, which is way too small for all of the fabrics that I have cut, and I still have some that I need to pull over. Um, I just wanted to show you that every once in a while, I got some fabric that was cut on a lengthwise grain, and so that's here, and I also got some that was cut widthwise, salvage to salvage, and I'll show you that when I get to it. But I've got all of these strips here underneath, I've got long strips here. Um, I have some smaller strips here that are about six inches because I've already made my project for December so that I wouldn't forget. <laughs> and so those are some smaller scraps from that. Under here, I have more of this fabric here, just one strip left behind. Then I have some of these strips here. And these blue ones right here, as well as these on the front. And I'm hoping you saw this one. <laughs> okay, then we've got some brown ones hiding back there. Brown, kind of with a little bit of orangey red to it. Some pink ones. Solid blue. I also had some solid yellow. Maybe I used it all because I don't see any on the board. So maybe I used all of the solid yellow, didn't have a lot. Like I said, I made a project already because all I have is these little small strips left. Let's see, pull over my next pile of strips. So I've got a lot of free spirit was in this particular bundle. So I've got that, whoops, I'm covering up the camera. And we also have some batiks that were in here. Some more batiks. This is a piece that was uh, cut salvage to salvage. This is some more white with blue. Kind of lavender colors here. And sometimes, like this piece here, you could probably get a three inch square out of some parts of this. So some of them are really good chunks of fabric. And then we've got this uh, solid here as well. Then from there, we also have this tray here that's on my round cutting mat. I got a lot of half square triangles, these three piles here half square triangles all of these and then I've got all of the little strips that I cut in between the pieces that could also make something as well so I'm thinking I'll show you some stuff that I've been working on this week and any of those projects would be great for what we have here I also have pressed starch some fabric that I'm going to be putting into my die cut machine to cut these into half square triangles so I'll be working on that next but I just wanted to show that to you guys so let me put you all back on the stand so I can show you what you can do with all of these string pieces <laughs> all right so what I did was I started out just sewing pairs so just sewing anything into pairs and then you, once you sew so many in the pairs, you come back and you sew those pairs into fours and so forth. And if you don't want it as wide as four of these, then just add another set of pairs or single strip as you need. Once you get through, you will have panels that you can make as wide as you like. And you can see that they're cattywampus. I have not squared them up. I did not straighten these pieces you can see where the die cuts have the little notch cut out so I didn't do any of that 
I just sewed these pieces together. I just made sure that when I laid my piece down that I was sewing a straight line. The straight line could have been diagonal. That was okay. So then you can make like a, what I call a warm piece. And then you can make like a cool piece. And then you could use one of these for the outside, one for the inside. And some things that I've been making this week that you might be interested in doing stuff with these strings is I made me a little clip bowl. I made bags for my presser feet and equipment for each sewing machine. And I'm also... Um, made this little smaller bag which would be nice too so I could do a whole lot with these scraps I got so many here that uh, yeah it's just you know it's ridiculous and this was just out of like I said four bags you could also make a um, triangle pouch as well with this so yeah you don't have to use solid fabrics if you're making cases, um, bow cozies, anything like that. You can do anything you like with these strings. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will chat with you all later. You all stay blessed. Be safe, everybody. Quilt out. And don't forget to like, comment on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And join me tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time for my birthday bash. My birthday is Sunday and I'm coming on at 8 p.m. on Saturday night to celebrate with you guys. See you then.